good morning guys welcome back to another video today we are on part five six six i believe of the elevated hunting blind luxury hunting blind build over here at rhino ranch Derek's over there you know doing something about the squirrel population currently we're letting the obs warm up and we have a big storm coming maybe not big for you guys on the east coast but for us uh, it's supposed to be, they're claiming like the storm of the century. There's supposed to be snow at like 400 feet lower than our elevation. I, to this day, have never seen snow up here, so I'll believe it when I see it. But we really gotta batten down the hatches on this thing and finish getting her water tight. We've got all of the building paper on, we've got our windows in, we've got our windows flashed. We don't have a door, which we may or may not be picking up today. But most importantly, we gotta get the roof on. I was just gonna put building paper on it and call it good, but they're really hyping this storm up. I don't want to risk the building paper blowing off, so I think we're just going to go for it. We're actually going to shingle this thing today. So it's best we get this thing dialed in today, which is our again our last uh, last sunny day, I believe. But what a beautiful day it is. So we're going to take advantage of this, and we got to do some storm prep with all the culverts, make sure those are all clear today, because once it's raining, it's just a soupy mess and a nightmare to do. Let me call my uh, my kid Dedek over here. He's over there perched up on the toolbox of the single cab OBS as his little uh, prone position there. Dedek, we got to go! Oh, man. I hate hitchhikers. What's up, man? Daddy said this is where the school bus picks me up. You ain't a murderer, are you? What day is it? Just kick all this stuff to the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, make some room, make some room. Dog, is that the brushless 20 volt lithium ion Hercules drill from Harbor Freight? Yes, it is. Damn, dude. Up to 350 holes per charge, my friend. Dude, I heard these things are the bee's knees. Now, one thing I've never owned is a uh, roofing nailer, a roofing nail gun. So, in the essence of making this quicker and easier and not smashing our thumbs, we're gonna stop by Harbor Freight. It's a little nondescript Harbor Freight here. We're gonna pick up a Harbor Freight roofing nailer. You know, maybe it looks better on the inside. Oh. Looks like Harbor Freight. Oh, yeah. Take one out. You so want one of these? Here. Yeah, yeah, my boy Jim said we're good. Your boy Jim? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, oh. Probably. All right, yeah. Dedek's in the market for a. Uh, look at that. Spray gun. For some spray guns. Dedek's got some painting he's gotta do. We're looking in, uh, there we go, right there. Coil nailer. That's what we're looking for right here. Click, 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 click. Yeah, works. Yeah, works great. What'd you find, buddy? Dude, get Pelosi on the phone. They need to ban this thing. Yeah, that's just... Look at that. Like, I can bump fire that. Then we take out some squirrels with it? Some Dude, yotes? I'm, I'm, that's a full I'm, yote hunt, right? I'm scared of this thing. <laughs> Isn't that like the requirement on getting something banned in the state of California? Yeah, you gotta be scared of it? Yeah, I'm scared of it. Dude, I heard this thing could shoot a thousand rounds a second. I'm scared of it. All right, guys, so this is what we're gonna roll with. The Banks 15 degree full round head roofing nailer. Those are the different lengths that it shoots right there. You know, one of the things that's great about Harbor Freight is uh, if it's a tool you're not gonna use that much, they're not very expensive. So it's like kind of the best place to buy it. We'll see how this thing does. They have a much higher end one uh, right here, the Pierce, this bad boy right here, but uh, that's a little out of the budget right now. This thing clocks in at a, uh, well, there's two different models. You got the 240, or the 220, or the one we're getting right here for 139. It's on sale today for $99. Now we made it to Home Depot to grab our shingles and grab our flashing, or not flashing, our uh, drip metal. We're also returning a sheet of OSB because we had an extra sheet. I'm really bad at returning stuff. Dedek's uh, keeping on me, making sure you, you know. We... That side, so again, we decided we're gonna go with shingles. It's just quick, cheap, easy. Uh, wait, are right, you gonna stand on that? Mm. All right. <laughs> We're going with the uh, Oak Ridge Estate Gray. Very fancy right there. It's got a state in the name. She's fancy. I don't mean to brag, but I was wanted to say we should probably go with shingles. On, you got man. this, buddy. You got this. You got this. Remember, new year, new you. We're working out right now. I'm just going to slide back in. Oh, I'm way too far. Way too far. You got this, buddy. We only need three more. It's heavy, dude. <laughs> Here. Give me How are we getting these up uh, one sheet at a time? Yep. Yeah. This is OSHA approved right here. OSHA approved. Okay guys, so we got our shingles, we've got our drip edge, we've got some nails put in the Harbor Freight nail gun, and then, and then check this out. We found them. Okay, okay, hold on. We're give away our 50% at the door. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can't R show that yet. Rumor has it, if you find one and they weren't near you, present it to them at checkout and they give you 50% yeah, off your order. Some Home Depot employee don't left their scanner. You're gonna get in trouble. It's a good thing yep. we don't know who you were, but. We've been we've been we've been marking stuff down all day. He didn't have one on him. He was looking kind of frantic. Uh oh, you think think he's the one that lost this? Got him. Hey, dog, give me a little give me a little scan. Yeah, let, me, let me let you know how much that is, baby. Yeah, man, you got, you got me. Mm -hmm. What do we got? It's what do we got? a seven forty seven inch. Can you mark that down? Yep. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and mark that down for you. Right. Dude, is this that fast that I knew we grabbed two and now it knows they're not available for delivery? Sir, go back. Go Shipments go. received. Let's go. Let's go see what we can do on this thing. 
I think it's literally like, oh, oh. No. Bro, we got the is that, is that a Milwaukee logo. We, 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 got, we got the manager's one. All right, guys, look at we're we're in the uh, theft incident portal. We're gonna report ourselves for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We found this. We're gonna report what? this. Reported by. I don't know, guys. We heard them in the next house. Say something about somebody missing a phone. Yeah. I don't know. I, I should call them and see if they uh, what they what they want to know. Right. They did call for any available associates. We were gonna we're dial the phone. We, we just don't know how to dial the phone. Yes, yeah, so we heard a rumor that uh, if you find one of these scanners laying in an aisle. We'll get 50% uh, off. 50 off. I never heard of this. <laughs> in that case, then I never heard about this. No, <laughs> 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 Let me report this stuff that we found. Found one of our guns? Yeah. We got 176 of paper welded wire lathe on clearance. If I didn't like hand it back to her, she probably would have let me walk out. Bro, she had zero concerns that we had that. Dedek's just sitting there scrolling right in front of her. Zero concerns that we had that. She had her hand on it and I was like, oh, well in that case, I'll put it back. She was like, okay, yeah. wait, what? Not a whole lot of concern here at the uh, Home Depot. Hopefully we just got nobody fired. Yeah. Hunter, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to say his name, you're the wrong aisle. I guess we'll go around the back way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you, you got this, buddy. Watch the truck. Watch the truck. Here you go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Don't drop our flashing. I'll take out the Honda. The hand. We are back at the house, and as you guys can see, uh, our good weather has totally gone away. So we are racing this rain coming in right now and trying to get a roof done in time. We've got the Harbor Freight generator uh, as well as this compressor here. We don't have any power today, so my little Honda generator is actually just powering like my Wi-Fi right now. Um, so we'll use the big old Harbor Freight generator, the Predator, to uh, power that compressor. Throw a little choke on her. Everything's good. Let's fire her up. This thing has been solid. It sits for a long time, never hesitates to fire up. I never had to leave the battery on a tender or a charger or anything. That bad boy's rock solid. Now I am definitely not a roofer. So uh, basically everything you're gonna see in this video is what I just learned on a YouTube video I just watched. So we've got our drip metal here, or edge metal, flashing metal, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna go on the edge there. This piece is gonna go on first. And again, we're gonna layer this up. Then we're gonna put our black paper. Then we'll put our side piece over top of that. Then we put our shingles and then we had to do our end cap at the very last and that'll go over the edge of the last shingles there. I'm also just putting a 90 degree on this corner. That way uh, caps that edge there. We're gonna do that on both sides. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, don't fall, don't fall. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. oh no, we don't wanna bang this up. It's starting to get a little bit windy out here. Go, nice little 90. Cut a little bit off of there so don't don't stick out. Looking pretty good. Let's see, that'll go there. How are we looking, dog? What? I don't know if that does. I think it fits like the angle. I don't know. Fast or reliable. That's all I know. Let's go with that. That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Feels so crap. at the bottom right here that's your little scroll wheel turn it that way it'll go deeper turn it that way it pulls it back a little bit all right i'm going to my roofing job all right y'all let's see how we do here i've never used a uh coil roofing nailer give me some more pressure see you guys we want to go a little deeper i think we go that way right, that's good Perfect. we good all right y'all so we're having a little issue with the compressor right now uh not keeping up it's an old compressor that came with the property. Uh, so, Dedek's down there right now working on getting this figured out. All right, go ahead. All right. There we go, that's better. All right, so now that we've got that drip strip on, we're going to roll our paper out, we'll put our two sides on, and then we start shingling. This guy over here, look at this. Big old roofer here. Ready? Yep. Yeah, I'm on booger. Er, er, er. Should be long. Damn dog already? What? Bleed him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You want me to be there with you? <laughs> no, you are too. Oh, jeez. Oh. Derek, we almost got blown off the roof. Where'd the hammer go? That had to have gone. Hey, don't stand, but this is a hard head zone. I'll hold this. You go get that side put down. The wind is not not our friend, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, that hammer's gone, dog. Quarter past the drip edge. I'm good right there. Woo! Hey, 
catching cotton. That's why I can't work above ground. Derek, we've got a tornado coming! Yeah, no, we should probably hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking good over there. No, Ooh. we're, we're cutting. I think we're past cutting it close. We're, we're late. We're behind. If we get this on, no, we, we're just going for it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're making it happen. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get our side pieces on. We're worried about this awesome Harbor Freight Bank's uh, roofing. It's working great. It honestly is. Dude. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a two-handed job, guys. Bro, you sure you want a single today? Yeah, we almost there, man. All right. Oh, no. It's getting wild right. out here. Got it. You know, if you guys like this hat, uh, work for You can go ahead and get yourself one. Let's get a little shaky up here. Yeah, try being up here. No? We're ready. There's the reason why I'm here on the ladder. So, you know, in our uh, roofing expertise here, we've got our starter strip. You know, we just flipped one upside down because why buy a pack for, you know, three starter strips? And, uh, you know, I believe the nails go like here. Somewhere. Pretty sure you only need like three per, but there's, there's no, probably, we do we do things a little yeah, over there's probably here. a lot more science to uh, this than we're we're definitely using, but you know we're just gonna get our first row going here, and then we're gonna you know go to town, shingle it. Did I set your little backstop better? Oh yeah, great backstop. Why is that nail smaller? <laughs> hey man, you know everyone, you know he's about average, right? You should have enough to do your next three. All right. This is a good investment today. We were gonna try to hand nail these. It would not have been worth it. Oh. Hold on, you got, Yeah, dog, make it authentic. Play some squeeze box music. Dad explaining us some accordion while we work here. Oh no, you, you closed oh. the app. Now it just sounds like I'm in traffic. <laughs> You know, on like a perfect weather day, and once you get through all the BS, I can see how roofing can be kind of fun. Oh, well, yeah, it was perfect. Guys, we are, we're moving here. We're moving here, but we're chasing that. That is my cut man, doing good, buddy. Yep, yep. Doing good. Give me my little pieces over here. Looking solid, looking solid. Dude, it is so cold up here right now, guys. So cold, but we are on our last row there. Then we're gonna put on one little piece. Danik's gonna cut that beforehand. Uh, the videos I watched on YouTube, they put it in and then cut it afterwards, but they were also like eight feet off the ground, not 20 feet off the ground. So we're just gonna cut it. And then uh, we'll be able to put our piece of drip strip on the front there. We're gonna seal underneath it. We're gonna seal our nail heads on the top and call it good. <laughs> it's so cold up here right now. We're so close to being done. We're gonna come back and trim this afterwards. It's just, we ain't trying to do it tonight. And they're way harder to trim when it's freezing out versus when they're warm. Generator's still running strong. We got power back on, so that's good. You guys, it is like 30 degrees warmer inside the hunting plant right now. It's not even insulated. We don't even have a door yet, but it's so much warmer in here than being out there. Dedek's cutting our little top strip here. It's a little dark in here, buddy. It is, but I'm making it work. All right. Straight cuts? I got two pieces. All right. You're stepping on one of them. All right, so per that YouTube video I watched, they did this. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but we're doing it. Now we're gonna put nails where our drip strip can cover it. Now we're sealing our nail holes here. Sealing, sealing. Well guys, last night, Thankfully, we got the roof finished on the hunting blind over there because uh, uh, Dedek's over here having a, a hail ball fight. She's gay. And uh, I know, everybody's gonna say, back east, that's not hail. Hail needs to be the size of a golf ball. Well, out here, that's what we call hail. You guys call it sleet, we call it hail, is what it is. Snowflakes. We also call it soda, you call it pop. Bro, look at your hill. Dude. 
That's snow. All right, this like, might be that snow. That is snow. <laughs> this might Bro, be snow. Like, you're high <laughs> if you think this isn't. We're standing in snow right now. Like, it's snow. I'm moving. Why is it snowing? <laughs> Bro, look at your hill. You're telling me that's not snow. <laughs> hail doesn't clump up like that on a hillside. All right, here we go. We got real cold start. Real cold start. Ice on the windshield. Look at that. All right. Woo. What a wild morning it has been so far with the weather. And then look, blue skies right there. Absolutely insane. So whatever is here that may be snow, might be mixing with hail. I don't know if you guys can see up on the mountainside right there, all that white that's all kind of on the rocks. Probably all gonna melt in a couple of minutes. We're gonna jump start the Mini X because we gotta clean out all the drainage issues. Today is not the big day of the storm that's coming in either, which is kind of wild. The big storm is coming in tomorrow, oh, tomorrow night. We're gonna get everything ready, clean out all the culvert pipes, uh, and do our best to prepare for that. It's supposed to be more rain than we've gotten in uh, since we've lived here. We're gonna get two cold starts in this video. Oh, this is taking extra long. Never seen it say wait that long. It ain't gonna do it. How's wheel spin? Now you guys can see uh, all the repairs we did and like doctoring up this like whole drainage section at the end of the driveway here has been working. That pipe that we put in was working. Uh, oh jeez, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know what this guy's doing over here. He, he's just driving in circles for some reason. We gotta clear this out though, clear out all this. This is like four feet deep, oh jeez. E-brake, e-brake! Oh god, he's gonna do it right in front of the driveway. <laughs> Watch the ditch! Okay. In the ditch, in the ditch. <laughs> I slipped off the brake. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I saw that happening a mile away. <laughs> These pedals are so small. Oh, jeez. I just straight panicked and tried to bash the brake and missed it. Uh, well, it's a good thing we got the excavator down here. And I think it lives here for right now. <laughs> jeez, guy. Honestly, so that was probably the softest crack I've ever had. <laughs> I like brace for a hard impact. And so that was so it. much for that front bumper. Don't, don't dig it in. No, it, yeah, just you just you just stay right there. I'm surprised it moved that much. Any further, you're going further. You're going deeper. Yeah. Oh jeez. Sleep on, I'll sleep on the dash for you. Since I'm, since I'm here and got some time now, let me just. Jeez, <laughs> guy. Yeah, it, it just realistically did what you do. I honestly thought you were gonna back into that ditch slowly before I saw this happening until I saw this happening. Look, the steering column literally feels like another pedal. <laughs> so it was like... There ain't no way you got your boot over that far. Yeah! So, jeez. Right here. And the replay. I was right here, all right? I was, you know, giving her the beans, feathering it, feathering it, feathering it. And I think I slipped with this foot, so I went with this one and was like, why isn't it stopping? And then that's when that happened, yeah. See, it was like, the brake pedal's there, playing that today. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna do just a quick clean out of all this silt and gravel and stuff that has run down in here. I mean, it's really nice stuff. Anybody, uh, you know, needs some base material there. This stuff comes down all filtered from the mountains. Never ceases to amaze me the amount of power water has to move all this stuff. Basically all I'm doing is just making room for the next batch of this to come in and settle in this little settlement hole that we're building. This stuff's actually much nicer than the dirt that's in front of the driveway, so we'll throw this sandy stuff down. Hopefully it uh, keeps it from getting slick and muddy like that. Okay, so our culvert is all cleaned out. Now we gotta, we gotta get this guy out. Oh, look, look at that. So precious. So precious. Go on the bucket. You're not doing anything. I don't have this, the, the strength from the side pole. Oh, here, go on my blade then. We're gonna do that. Clutch. 
close this for protection. That strap was ready to go at any point. Oh, it went into it. Yeah, that was bad. Let's, let's do a little inspection. Papa Rhino's gonna be pissed at Dedek. This is his baby here. All right, she ain't too bad. She ain't too bad. We got a little, little crack in the, uh, the fiberglass know. there. You'll never know. If anything, that might have been you the other day when we were out there. Nah, I don't think so. That looks like you. And we're a squirrel. Squirrel. Collecting. Collecting squirrels for nature. Uh, no science. Uh, Information on squirrels and their hibernation patterns. For habitat for humanity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Peter. Hey, Dedek, don't put this in a ditch on the way back. Do my, I'll do my best to keep between the ditches. <laughs> that bumper gaps never look better. Oh, God. It's always done that. Not that bad. It, like, it, it that. just clears some new lines on there. All right, let's get this back. Easy guy, easy guy. That's a pristine paint job. We've done about as much prep as we're going to do here for the storm. Time to go raid some trucks. Okay, guys, well, the first wave of storms have passed uh, all day yesterday. We got rain actually the last day and a half. And uh, driveway held up great, but again, this is supposed to be the small storm. Tonight, through the next three days, we're gonna get the big storm. We're gonna trim all these shingles that we left long because, uh, yeah, I don't want the wind grabbing them and ripping them off. We just left them long that day because it got really dark. Let's do a little check inside. Uh, yeah, everything looks freaking perfectly dry, I think we did a great job on this house wrap. I think we drilled the hammer tag nails very well. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is like, I don't see an ounce of water anywhere. The roof looks great. We did a great job there for not being roofers. Pretty impressed. Uh, let me, let me, let me get back out. Uh, uh. All right, we'll get our ladder up on the roof. Dedek, you got me, dog? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. Chalk line? Yep, right here. Got my level. And I got a big sharpie. That's what we're gonna roll on with this. Okay. And then we're just gonna have to eyeball like a maybe a quarter inch out. I need you up there with me. No. Maybe <laughs> Come on, Doc. No, someone's gotta be here to hold the ladder so you don't die. That's true, man. We didn't seal these yet, but we put enough um, roof sealing underneath that it would splooge out. I mean, you can see it splooging out a little bit there. So I'm gonna seal these at some point. The roof is nice and warm. That's perfect for sunbathing right here. What could go wrong, Dedek? Nothing. <laughs> Swap out to a freshy battery. And then we're just gonna set this booger to real shallow. I've seen a lot of guys that can cut these with a knife. If you can do that, kudos to you, because we they are not fun to cut, let alone in a straight line. Might have a little bit of cleanup to do with a razor blade, but that's like perfect. Bro, that's good as <laughs> that's perfect. All right, buddy, you're gonna hate this, but I'm gonna need you up here to mark this side. <laughs> you got this, bro. I'm standing on all fours and you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Crawling over there. Just... It feels better standing up. I'll oh, it's you. way better once you're up here. Yeah. yeah. Woo, it's getting cold up here, buddy. Fuck the cold, it's getting windy. <laughs> That's why it's cold. No, I don't, I don't care. I can deal with the cold, I don't like the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's catching air. You comfy, dog? Hey, man's. Fucking spider man. <laughs> He's got webs to hold him down. Man. Looking solid, Dedek. You're looking solid, buddy. I'm a safety rep for the Navy, all right? I'm a sailor 24 7. There you go. <laughs> you got this, buddy, man. Solid. Looking strong, man. Looking strong, buddy. You got this. You got this. Can nothing, nothing can stop you in this world, buddy. My pocket stopping me right now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Last step, guys. We're just gonna seal those nail heads, and uh, this roof should be done. We'll just do a little bit of that. Might be doing something. Might be completely unnecessary. Not sure, but being that nobody will ever see it, doesn't have to be the prettiest thing in the world. It just has to be watertight. All right, guys, I think we are sold. Uh, I think we're pretty solid here. Looks like we are sealed up. 
everything's looking good i'm sure there's a roofer out there somewhere that uh have some tips for us here but just a quick little youtube video and uh, hey we got a roof and so far it survived storm number one we'll see how it does in the next couple days of uh big rains but we got a lot of wind which you guys know wind is the biggest factor with this type of stuff because it'll blow water up underneath your shingles underneath your drip edge and uh the fact that we have no water inside i think that means we did pretty good In true Dedic fashion, uh, we just sealed the doorway back up. And then of course he left the window open. So he's climbing back in there to get that window closed. All our waterproofing does no good if we have a big wide open window. There you go, just lock it. Make sure it's safety first. We don't want anybody breaking in. Yeah. All right, good. I will say the best thing we bought for this video was that Harbor Freight roofing nailer. It was one of those things where I'm like, oh, this job is so small. We could just do without it. You know, hammer in a few nails. How hard would that be? And man, am I glad. I decided to buy that thing. It saved us by far, especially we only had so many hours to get it done before it started getting too windy, too rainy, too cold. So I highly recommend that bad boy. Like I said, they've got the, we bought the cheapest one that they offer and really had no issues with it. That thing was a freaking solid uh, roofing nail. If you're ever gonna do a small project at your house, that is like the go-to, don't do nails by hand. <laughs> we definitely would have lost some fingers trying to rail, trying to nail in small little roofing nails. Those are no fun. Now, unfortunately, today's the last day we got Dedic, guys. It's sad, I'm sad, trust me. I wish we had Dedic around full time, but that may be happening at some point in the very, very, well, not very near future, but in the, in the near future. Uh, he's already got a couple more trips planned back to hang out with us, uh, but I'm glad he was out here because it was definitely uh, much needed help getting this to where we're at here. Uh, next steps are gonna be doing siding. We gotta figure out something we're gonna do up underneath the eaves there. Obviously we gotta get a door put in, but we are uh, moving along pretty good here. Making pretty solid progress considering we've been down for a few days for rain and uh, we're gonna be down for like three or four more days because of rain. This is it man, it's time to go Dedic. Scarf's on, you ready man? Is there anything you wanna say to the people? We're gonna miss you buddy. It's always great having you out here. Talk to your peoples. I might be back in like three months, honestly. I'm already planning the next trip back out. Uh, it might not be that long. You know, I do every, you know, May and November, and this one kind of came short, so I might just still come in May. Who knows? So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. And don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. One for old time's sake, Dedic. Roll the outro. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.